so it's time for March favourites and I've got a lot of things this month including a lot of nail things. It seems I've had a bit of a nail polish revival so I think I'm going to leave all those to the end and I do actually have a miss this month as well. I'm going to get that over and done with now because I don't like to be a Debbie Downer, you know, but it's this and I promised you guys a little update on it when I first got it because I hadn't started using it yet. Now I have. I have an opinion. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Take It All Off Genius Eye Makeup Remover. Love the packaging. Love the fact it's got one of these little like push your, you push your little cotton pad down. You get it like this. Ta-da! And there you have your eye makeup remover. Great, really love that function. However, the inside just doesn't do it for me and I think it's because I've tried the Clarins Instant Eye Makeup Remover, which is just my all-time favorite eye makeup remover, bearing in mind that I wear waterproof mascara. So I'm judging this on a waterproof mascara basis. On a non-waterproof mascara basis, you'd probably be all right with this. And if you haven't tried the Clarins, I'm sure you'll love this because this is a close runner up behind, but it just doesn't get the makeup off as efficiently as my Clarins does. So I think when I get my Clarins, I'm gonna be emptying it into this little bottle here because like I said love the bottle but on to some more positive things that I've really been enjoying using there is this it's from original source I think I mentioned this in my boots haul it is their all-in-one moisturizing shower just moisturizing shower gel I guess in pineapple and coconut oil love the smell of this and I just think it's a really nice shower gel I'm not into really fancy shower gels anything from like Boots or Superdrug will do me and this is great I think I picked it up for about a pound because it was on offer it smells a bit like lilt and anything that smells like lilt or tastes like lilt is a good thing in my books on to some makeup favorites and this is something that i'm actually wearing on my face today and have been wearing on my face in most videos for the past month it's from anastasia it's the beverly hills contour kit in the shade light medium it looks something a little bit like this i've actually done a full review of it and i will link that below now i like this not because of the whole contouring function but the other day i was out and about and i was out and about for the whole day so i needed to do a bit of a makeup touch up kind of like halfway through the day and this came in so handy just threw this in there not really thinking about it number one these two shades mixed together make a really good bronzer slash popping a crease eyeshadow I think I used this all over the lid and then this in the crease because it's very much like MAC texture I used this shade here as like my powder setter thing the more I'm looking at the banana powder and using it the more I realize it's not light enough for my skin as it is at the moment so I haven't really been using that one too much then you've got your highlighter then you've got your contour and you've kind of done contour highlighter setting powder and eyeshadow all in one that's why I like this palette just because I think it's nice to have those matte shades with a few shimmers in there just because they're really multi-purpose and you can use them for lots of different things not just contour and I've just put my finger in the highlighter great ah makeup remover. Wasn't that a coincidence? <laughs> now, the other thing that I've really been enjoying using for eyes is the Giorgio Armani eye tints. These are incredible. Again, I've done a blog post on them. I will link that below. The shades 9 and 10, I think, are my absolute favourites. 9 is like an everyday kind of MAC, all the glittersy, taupey, you don't need a brush with it type shade. I just pop it on the lid or pop it on a brush and sweep it over or pop it on the lid and then sweep it over with my finger or a brush. It's so easy to apply and they are so long lasting. Even without a primer, put them on, they don't budge. And then number 10 is like a bit deeper. It's a bit of a like purpley, mac, sable bronze type shade. I like that it's a bit of a smoky eye, it's a bit more intense and you can layer it up until you get like a really deep kind of bronzy eye or you can just do quite a sheer wash of colour. I think these are fab. I've actually got the navy which I've been meaning to use because I just think it would be such a cool way to wear navy. So long lasting, so pigmented but you can also make them sheer just really enjoy using those. Well, that was a rave, but they're so good. They really are. So on to two lip products now, and they're completely different ends of the color spectrum. I'll talk through the brighter one first. It is the NARS Satin Lip Pencil in the shade U. You would have seen this. Oh, that was a nice little bit there. You would have seen this in my super sleepy makeup morning tutorial thing. 
link it below. And it is a bright, in your face, blue toned fuchsia. Now the way that I tend to wear this is to pop it all over my lips and then smudge it in. And there you just get a stain that again is very long lasting, sensing a theme here. But it's also a really subtle way of incorporating a bit of very bright colour into your routine. Then on the other end of the spectrum I have this from Chanel and it is one of their Rouge Cocos in the shade Adrienne. I would have thought this would also be in Lily's favourites this month as well because we've both been wearing this all the time. This is kind of my new go-to nude. Not what I'm wearing on my lips today. Today I have something on my lips which I'm testing for an upcoming video. In fact all of this is being tested for an upcoming video very soon. Keep your eyes peeled. But this is just a really nice mix of peach, pink, brown, all the usual suspects in a really nice nourishing formula that delivers the pigment without being too sheer but it has a nice kind of bit of sheen and just feels very comfortable on the lips. So if you're a fan of MAC patisserie but are just getting itchy feet to try something new, this is your new nude. <laughs> Before I go on to the nail polish, I have a brush favourite. And if you've been watching my videos this month, this probably isn't going to be a surprise to you because the MAC 188 brush is all kinds of awesome. When I had that moment where I used the Anastasia contour kit for basically everything, this came in very handy. Been using it for powder, contour, highlight, blusher, what other things? Concealer. That's what I've actually been using it for the most. This is the perfect blend in concealer brush because it's just so light and so it doesn't really move the product necessarily. It just sort of blends it in where it is and it just feels really super relaxing. Why am I just brushing my face? But it's a nice way of blending in concealer without sort of getting your fingers involved and having to wash them and all that kind of stuff. And I just find that it blends it in a very natural airbrushed way. Okay on to the nails and I feel like there could be a lot more in this department just because I've been having a real nail revival. I'm not sure what it is. For the month of February I wasn't too into nails. I was wearing naked nails a lot just because I couldn't be bothered to paint them. But I feel like I've bought quite a lot of new shades recently and I just want to wear them basically <laughs> on rotation. But actually probably my favourite favourite out of all of them is the cheapest. Something I picked up recently. The Essie Good As Gone Clarifying Nail Polish Remover. Somebody tweeted me after my Boots video to say have you tried that? Anna because that nail polish remover is the best darn thing and you're right it really is it's such a good nail polish remover it's kind of strange to be so in love with a nail polish remover but there's something about this it just takes off your polish very efficiently very quickly I literally soak one pad with quite a small amount of product and it does all ten fingers and it gets rid of all the annoying sort of side of the nail bits and any red residue very quickly so if you're looking for a new nail polish remover give this one a go I found it in my local boots in the bottom of the Essie stand and it really is that fab another range which I've really been enjoying is Ciate. They had a little rebrand of their nail care items and there's absolutely loads of new things but these are my two favourites. It is the nail toner, which looks a little something like this. Use this in my manicure video on Wednesday and a lot of you asked what's the deal with this nail toner thing and it basically dehydrates the nails so it makes sure that there's no oil or anything else on your nail that's going to cause interference between the nail polish and your nail bed which means that it will chip quicker and come off quicker. So it just dehydrates it, provides a really good oil-free, grime-free base. So you're just trying to make your nail polish adhere that little bit better. And I find that this does when I use it. Number one, it's a really quick step and it literally evaporates off your nail so you don't have to be precise about it. I just slap it all over the top of my fingers. And then afterwards, I've just been putting on the Ciate underwear base coat, which is again fab. And the thing I like most about this is that it dries really quickly. You don't have to wait around. It's not like you're putting on your base coat and then you're waiting 10 minutes to dry before you can get on with your nail polish. By the time I've painted all my nails and gone back to the first one, it is ready to paint, which is just great. And I find that my nail polish has actually been lasting really well, and these are the two new things that I've added into the crew. So Ciate, thumbs up on the new things, I've really been enjoying them. And then there are two colours which just actually are quite similar, and then there's the colour I've also got on my nails today, but that is coming in Wednesday's video. I'm very excited about that, I'm actually in love with this colour. But anyway, the two that I was wearing most for the month of March are Essie Maximilian Strausser. Lily got me into this one, and it is a beautiful, beautiful shade. It's like a murky, duck egg, bluey, greyy green. It's very difficult to describe, as you probably guessed from my 
awful explanation but it just goes on to the nail beautifully with all Essie nail polishes it's got a great brush and I just like how it's kind of a color but it's also very muted very subtle again I've done a blog post on this so if you want to see it on the nail I will pop the link to that below also done a blog post on this one with it on my nail I will link it as well. This is the Nails Ink, the new white polish in Swan Street. The new white collection in general is just amazing. It's like, they're all whites, there's four colors, but they've all got a twist on cream. So there's like a greeny one, an apricot-y one, a lilac-y one, and a pink one. I now have three out of the four because I just kept going back and buying another one because I just love the finish of these. It did take three coats, which is sort of expected with something that's this pale and like this pastel, but it was totally worth the faff dried really quickly again so I didn't have to wait too long and I just think the finish of it is so pretty so springy and a lot of you have been asking if I'm going to do a spring edit and I will that will be coming up in the next few weeks but those are all of my March favorites thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video I'm excited for Wednesday's video which is a little top five new drugstore things so I hope you enjoy that but thanks for watching and I'll see you then bye